Hey, hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? How you doing? Get on my seat. So, uh, what's happening, guys? What's, what's the dealio? How you doing? Good. Cosmo? Not my name, but... Out yeah. of this world. What's your name again? You don't even, yeah. I don't even know his name. What's going on? Alec, what are you doing here? You're the producer. You're not one of us. You're not part of the show. You're, you're like the person who sets up the show. You're like the... Lame dad of the show. We just want to hang out. We want to talk about the things that we want to talk about, and we don't feel comfortable doing it with you around. Nothing you say makes sense. Nothing. So this is my second season on Making the Cut. This year I'm finally head cameraman. There was a tragic accident last year when PJ, our old head cameraman, went to the hospital for a routine procedure was operated on by one of our contestants, and then when he got home, he was murdered. It's a shame, but the show must go on with me, Steve Martin. All right, so you're going to go. I'm going to push you back a little bit. I want you to come this step right there. That's perfect. Okay, now, Alec, now I see what you're doing here is you're setting them up in a uh, triangular formation. And I think that from a head cameraman's perspective, a more linear organizational pattern will make them... I just think it flows better. I don't know. If nobody believes me, then um, you can go suck my dick. Yeah, he's a creepy guy, and he doesn't bathe. PJ was great. He was able to really capture the intensity of 15 amateur surgeons fighting sickness and the clock for a chance at the internship of a lifetime and $20,000. Now that's drama. And PJ didn't miss a beat of it. A heartbeat? I'm an amateur comedian. I think if we take this light, it whoa, 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 whoa. Be... Alec, what's what's going on here? Um, right in front of. I'm using it to light the shot, Stephen. Okay, ooh, let's light the shot. There's lots of lights in here. The sun is light. These guys need their eyes to see so that they can do their jobs. This light is gonna blast their retinas all the way into the back of their skulls. First, Did you ever think of that, Alec? First of all, Did the you ever sun think of is the... outside, and we're indoors. Okay, Secondly, thanks, this is not, that's not teacher. gonna happen, Alec. I don't, I, you know, just, you know, just don't disregard everything that I say. I'm just a head cameraman. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, of course, that you're the producer of a reality show. And let's say that one of your cameramen was so gifted and talented that other better producers wanted to make a reality show about him. Wouldn't you pay a little more attention to his opinions, hypothetically? I think so. Mr. Producer, what do you do? What, uh, I, I, let's go move things around. I have no idea what they're talking about. I'm going to move this, okay? Because I'm for the leave, good of the people. For the good Steven, of the Steven, leave the light. Okay. Okay, what fine. are you doing, man? Fine, fine. Let's just see what happens. Good luck, guys. Good luck trying to be. Uh, uh, hey, seeing eye dog, because I'm blind. Steven, can you do this heart Steven, surgery for me? Because I can, cause you Steven, can see. Get out. Brian, let's go. I'm done. I'm sick of this. Brian? Okay. Yes. You see what I put up with? Yo. You see get back I... the camera, Steven. It's my camera, Alec. No, it's, it's my camera. Mine. It, it belongs to the studio. Steve? Yeah, he's a visionary. He sees things that we don't. The way Mozart looked at a piano, that's the way Steve looks at these 15 amateur surgeons. He wants to make beautiful music with them. Steve and Alec butt heads all the time, but that's just art, man. That's why they gave Steve the show. Steve got the show because we're broke. Making the cut is a ratings giant, but the blood and guts that haul in the viewers bring in just as many lawsuits. All the money I'm making from this interview is going straight to our lawyer. Then I was saying, like, it doesn't even make any sense that Hannah Montana would go off the air because it's a giant. I filmed Hannah Montana. Hey, I fil I've filmed Hannah Montana. I filmed Justin Bieber when he was in Canada. Don't go there if you don't have to, guys. What's your name again? I'm gonna call you the Mack Truck. I literally have Brian 24 hours taking sound, just so we don't miss we don't miss a. Like, like the Aerosmith song says, don't want to miss a thing. That's his motto. 
I have him sing it to me to go to sleep, and then he records my sound. That, that's not creepy at all or anything. Not you know what? You just don't understand the relationship that two men can have. Totally platonic. Just he he records the sounds I make when I sleep. That's so. And I record I, I, I could have him lived, in the bathroom. I could have lived for a million years without ever having known that. You will that. never live for a million years the way you treat yourself. Yes, I'm the first reality show cameraman to get his own reality show. Yes, I'm also head cameraman of the most dramatic medical program on television. But I still put my pants on in the morning, just like all of you. Then I turn on my camera and put on my makeup, in that order. Because I'm a reality show cameraman first, and reality show superstar second. Secret out. Just kidding. Is somebody doing the optical zoom on this? I told you to do digital zoom.